Hello friends and welcome back for another Simon Hurley Create video. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be making some fairly simple thank you cards, but let's talk about the products we're going to be using first. This is the Nature Hike background stamp. It's a peel apart, which is awesome. Uh, and if you don't know what those are, it just means these little pieces that you see that have perforation around them will come out of the stamp so you can stamp with them separately or puzzle piece them all back in and stamp it together. We're also going to be using the Doodle Florals. I just need this thank you. And then we definitely have some Simon Hurley Creates Stark White cardstock, and I've cut some of these pieces down. These are two inches by four and a quarter, and I have three of them because we're going to make a little set. And so let's go ahead and get started stamping. I'm going to leave my background stamp right on the, the plastic piece that it's on, the little acetate. And we're going to ink up our stamp in three separate colors three separate times. And I want these to be fall cards, so I'm going to start with some Game Over ink. I'm just going to ink up a portion of the stamp. I don't need it to be fully stamped. I just need it to be enough to cover these little pieces of cardstock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set those right on top and then we're going to take a piece of scratch paper and rub rub rub. And this is just another easy way to make sure that you get good stamping. So I'll peel that back and you'll see that it's stamped really nicely. We're going to clean up our stamp. I, I like to spray some, some stuff on there and then wipe it away with my microfiber cloth to make sure it's dry as well so that I can move on to the next one, which will be Fake Plant. So I'll ink that one up with some Fake Plant and do the same process where I just set my piece of cardstock down, use my um, scratch paper, rub, 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 and then I'll peel that away and that one will be stamped really nicely. And then we do the exact same thing with some Crown Me ink, which is a beautiful purple ink. So rub, 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 and then we have our third one. So there's a lot about this ink that I love. So if it sits there for a little bit, it's not completely waterproof because you know it is water reactive a little bit, but I do like that this is gonna keep most of its form. I've got some bee sting and I'm gonna spray that or stamp that onto an acetate sheet, spray a little water, use my finger to move it around a little bit, and then I'm gonna ink that or smush that right on top of my inked panel. You'll notice what that water does is it spreads the ink just a little bit so it kind of fuzzies the image. And I honestly love that. If that's not a look that you like, you can do the ink smushing first and stamp later, but I like that it kind of does that. The next color that I've grabbed is Traffic Cone, and we're gonna do the same process. And the reason I'm using my fingers to move the ink around is because I want it to look a little bit more organic just by smushing that ink pad right on to the acetate. Uh, and this one is slippery when, slippery when wet, but just by smushing it right on there, it has more of a rectangular look. So I wanted that to be a little bit more um, organic. And then I'm taking the leftover and smushing that on the inside of my card base so that I have something on the inside. And then I'm gonna heat set these. I, I made sure and heat set in between each of those layers. But you'll notice that I go from red to orange to yellow and it looks like this beautiful little fall background piece. So I love that. We're gonna do the same thing with all three panels and uh, I'll have all the colors up on the screen that I'm gonna be using. But let's continue to finish this card. So my card base again is some of that stark white cardstock. I cut these down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and then scored them at four and a quarter. I'm going to use a little liquid glue to adhere down my rectangular piece to the front of my card base. And then I'll use my T ruler just to make sure that that's straight. I don't always trust my eyes. <laughs> Getting older, you know. And then uh, I'm going to do a little splatter because I do have some, some mishaps on my card base and the best way to fix that is with a little bit of splatter so then you can't tell right it's all over the place so I just took some of that game over put it on my glass mat put a little water and then splattered that all over my background I'll heat set that just to make sure that that's good and dry before I stamp my sentiment but splatter fixes a lot of mistakes I'll tell you I'm gonna ink up my sentiment with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink it's just a very crisp black ink and you'll notice the U on the end didn't stamp entirely, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to fix that with a pigment pen later on. Then we're going to do the same thing. So I've moved on to my fake plant one, and I'm going to use some clear skies. Or no, this one I think is Remember Me. So we've got Remember Me to start, and then we're just going to smush that right on top, starting from that left-hand side, open up our card base and smush some of that down on, on the inside as well. Heat set that in between. And then our next color that we're gonna grab is Tropical Tango. So I tried to stick with same color themes, you know, so I did greens and blues for this one. The first one was reds, yellows, oranges. And then our final one, if you can guess, it's gonna be like purples and pinks. Our final color on this one is Later Gator. 
and then we're just smushing and I, I like leaving some of that white space I just think it looks nice and fun and like I said if you don't like the watercolored look of the background where it's um, fuzzing up the images you could always stamp afterwards so this is what I was talking about you can just fill in whatever you don't stamp correctly the better option would have been to put this inside of my misty to make sure that I stamp it correctly but I needed some quick thank you cards that were fall themed and so there's our second card and for our final card we're gonna start with some game over remember using that acetate so this way I have a little bit more control when I use acetate rather than just smushing it down like putting the ink onto my glass mat and then smushing my piece onto that this just gives me a little more control and I can see exactly where I am putting that color our next color was triple berry like how these colors all kind of go together and then our final color will be some rosy cheeks and then we'll just smush that one down on there as well and I like how the insides are just like that so there you have it three very simple quick thank you cards that you can make using backgrounds try it out with any backgrounds that you might have remember this one's nature hike new to Simon Hurley create uh, if you liked this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you have not already done so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.